Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Ten of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the Three of Swords reversed. Next we have the King of Wands in the upright. Followed then by the Queen of Swords upright. And lastly, the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. You've got a lot of people around here. Could be, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of commotion going on. <laughs> Maybe lots of different people involved. Lots of different energies involved here for sure for Scorpio, but your overall energy, Scorps, is the Ten of Cups in the upright position. Well, it doesn't get much better than that on the emotional front. And since uh, Scorpio is a water sign, this is water energy, that means your emotions could be really uplifted this week for some reason. Now, it could be for many reasons. Sometimes the Ten of Cups is also known as like the family gathering card where you're getting together with some people, family or people who feel like family, and having a wonderful, wonderful experience. It can come up sometimes when we're, say for example, there's a you know dinner going on at our family's house and we're just dating somebody new and then we bring them to the event or the dinner and... Um, it's just wonderful because you have the person beside you, your love interest, along with the, your loved ones, your family, your friends, your children, what have you. Or it could be for some of you, it's just really, really good week for your home and your family, especially if you live with a larger family. It could be cooperation is going on. It could be something exciting in the air that's being celebrated. Sometimes this will come up for a wedding. Uh, maybe some of you are getting prepped for your own wedding or for somebody close to you, their wedding. And it looks like all is well on the home front for you. Beautiful. And it can sometimes represent a peak emotional experience. So that's really good. At the beginning of the week, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse position. Well, Three of Swords in the upright position point to sorrow, loss, disappointment. When the card is reversed, however, this can indicate finally healing from a situation that brought about this hurt feelings. Uh, again, it's a general read, so it's different for all of you. Uh, just take, always just take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, it's not in the reading, but there could have been a situation now for some of you, this happened three months ago, could have been three years ago, whatever. But the situation is you're healing now from this particular situation. This week, it could have something to do with loved ones or your family because the family card is here. Uh, this could be about, you know, apologies, feeling better. It puts you into the two of swords in the upright position because again, like I always explain that when something is finally over, you're healed from it, or there's apologies and everybody says, okay, no hard feelings. Well, there's that two of swords is there because now you don't know what to do. Because if any particular person, be it a love interest or what have you, has put you in the three of swords, it could be very, you could be very, um, you know, reluctant to trust again, especially as a Scorpio. Scorpios have trust issues to begin with. So, it's like, yes, okay, I'm healing from the situation. Do I really want to put myself in that position to be going through that again? I don't know. So there could be a little bit of a hesitation at the beginning of the week. Next card you have is the King of Wands in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, the King of Wands is known as a go-getter, can oftentimes pop up as a new boss. Some of you perhaps uh, just got a new job. This could represent your new boss, could represent your new business partner. The King of Wands is a go-getter. Some of you, the King of Wands could be your partner and they're finally getting things done. Maybe you've been after them forever to, you know, fix the kitchen sink or to get some things done around the house and they're finally doing it. You know, they're finally moving. Uh, the King of Wands is a mover and a shaker, gets things done, can represent business, can represent travel, can represent somebody who um, is very adventurous, just likes 
to, you know, uh, organize perhaps an adventure. It could be someone in the family, maybe some of you, this is your father or somebody, you know, the head of the family, your husband is organizing a family trip or something like that and, you know, getting everything moving. The King of Wands can crack that whip and get everybody, you know, light a fire under you. Get things moving forward now remember energies can always go both ways perhaps you are feeling like the king of wands at the beginning of the week scorpio moving on towards the weekend we have the queen of swords in the upright position well this is air energy gemini libra aquarius sun moon arising male or female now this could definitely be um another person exterior to you that you are dealing with this week towards the weekend this could be um somebody's coming in with their truth just sort of laying things on the line the queen of swords is known as someone who's very outspoken is interested in the facts and logic um just like her counterpart likes to leave emotion out of it and just deal with the facts uh, could represent sometimes a clarifying conversation. Perhaps this is you yourself. A lot of times Scorpios can embody the uh, Queen of Swords and just come out and say what needs to be said and uh, leave emotion out of it. So it could be, you know, a clarifying conversation. You know, she is facing the uh, King of Wands here in this spread. So it could be there's a conversation between two other people. It could be the King of Wands and this Queen of Swords are facing off here and having a conversation about something. Maybe the King of Wands wants to get things moving in a certain direction. Maybe the Queen of Swords has something to say about it. Um, for some of you, this could be your parents, this could be your friends, your family members, like whoever it is, um, there's people involved here. There's a lot of communication and there's a lot of action activity and there's a lot of passion, but there's also remember an overtone of love here. And then the last card you have is another character we're introducing into this week is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. It is another court card, could be representing a person, but this time we're dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, the Knights generally bring with them some type of offer. It could be a solid offer coming your way, Scorpio, at the end of the week. It could be an offer if you have something up for sale, your business, your home, your vehicle, what have you, merchandise, what have you. It could be a solid offer coming towards you. Um, it could also be on the romantic front, somebody's making you an offer, but this is, could be somebody, and it doesn't have to always be the sign, right? The earth signs or what have you. It could be anybody that perhaps you've been dating them casually for a while and you've been waiting for a long time for it to become a little bit more serious or permanent. It could be that now you're finally getting that solid offer coming towards you. So this person, like the Knight of Pentacles, does not make offers, you know, in a flight of fancy. It's always well thought out. That's why it can take a longer time to reach you. So for some of you, this is an offer that's coming to you. It could be definitely a job offer. It could be an offer of finance. It could be an offer of business, what have you. But it's a very serious offer. And if it's on the romantic front, this offer is solid as can be. So for some of you, perhaps this is all the same person, right? It's just different aspects of the same person where they're, you know, fun loving, go getter. They're also very communicative and bottom line. And they're also very solid. Could be how you're going to be acting and progressing throughout this week. Remember though, this is very important. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is this 10 of cups. So that's a beautiful, beautiful energy to have to govern through whatever's going on here. For some of you, this is people very close to you. You could be, like I said, dealing with a lot of people this week. So it could be a lot of different family members. It could be uh, love interest and family members. Uh, hmm, interesting, interesting reading, Scorpio. You will definitely have to um, let me know in the in the comments below if this resonated for you and how so um yeah the peak emotional experience whatever is going on here and it could be involving a lot of different people so please do tell the story <laughs> in the meantime i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you next week take care bye bye for now